Hello, my name is Maggie. Today we're going to be doing a top whatever. And I was watching one of Haley and Bookland's videos that she made a million years ago. And thought that I would do the same thing and literally just tell you all of my top ten books of books that you should be reading throughout your life. <laughs> and whatever, so I just thought that I'd tag along. So, yeah. Uh, this is in no particular order. And I feel like some of you, slash all four of you, that actually watch my videos will know what the last book will be. But, who knows. <laughs> um, but this first book, I actually read... This is a bit of an honorary, honorary mention. Um... Because I never mentioned him on my channel, and I first read him, I want to say, 2009, 2010. I think before the last song came out, I want to say, maybe. I don't remember when that was. Sorry. Um, but I think this was, like, my first uh, Nicholas Sparks book. I was gonna say John Green book, but I know my John, my first John Green book was. Um, but this book I'm talking about, it was either this one or the last song. That was my first book by him. And the book that I'm talking about is Dear John by Nicholas Sparks. Um, not only this book, but I've only read this book and six of other, six others of his books. And I, I liked Dear John and... Not many people do, so. But definitely read any of Nicholas Sparks' books. So, if you want a lot of romance in your life, read him. So, there you go. Um, This next book, I actually have mentioned on my channel loads of times. And I've said all those times that I've read it in high school. So, when I read it, it was like 11 years ago now. I've been out of school for 11 years. Oh, God. <laughs> no, it's actually been 10 years. No. Yeah, it was 11 years when I read this, but I got out of school for 10. There you go. Do the math, okay? Um, but the book I'm talking about is The Catcher in the Rye by Gigi Salinger, which is also a classic that you literally have to read when you're in high school, slash in school, and whatever. So, um, I literally... Loved this book. I haven't I haven't even read this since I've actually read this book when I first read it, I mean. And I literally just love it. I need everyone to read it. Even though I haven't read it in like 10 years. <laughs> um, but yeah, I literally just loved this book. And it actually got damaged. Ew. Um, actually, one of my cousins told me that he actually met J.D. Salinger before he passed away. And I thought it was literally just so cool that he met J.D. Salinger. And the fact that he met an author. Oh my god. <laughs> you know? Um, but yeah, I literally just love The Catcher in the Rye. So, anyway. Um, this next book, I actually read the whole series between 2015 and 2017. Um, because of the new Netflix show that came out, I recently actually just ended with the end, the show, um, recently, and I, it was a little disappointing, but obviously it's, it's kind of a pun, not really, because the book that I'm talking about, slash series, is A Series of Unfortunate Events by Lemony Snicket, so... If you really want to be sad, then you can literally just go with this series. <laughs> and, um, actually have hope for these kids. So, yeah. Um, this next book I actually read in 2014. So that was like five years ago now, almost. And I literally loved it. I got it as a Christmas gift. Not this particular edition, but I got it. I got the this book for a Christmas gift, and I didn't read it until 2014. I got it as a Christmas gift in 2012 with a bookshelf from my, one of my sisters, and I literally just love this book, along with all these books that I'm currently talking about. And the book that I'm currently talking about is The Perks of Being Wallflower by Stephen Chbosky, and 
it actually kind of helped me in a way because even though like I wasn't really conflicted with my sexuality or anything or like smoking or drinking or anything else during my lifetime um I don't know what but I literally just loved this book when I actually read it and I literally just re recommend it to every freaking teenager and every freaking person in the world to read this and yes go get one and you're welcome read it um, this next book I actually read for the first time in 2012, and then I reread it in 2015 because of the last movie coming out back in the day. <laughs> and I, I love this trilogy, and it actually made me think of what could actually happen in the future because it's a dystopian, and I fear for the world because this could actually happen. So, and the book that I'm talking about in our trilogy, I'm talking about The Hunger Games by Suzanne Collins, and I have always loved this trilogy since, like, day one, lol. Um, but I, I mean, I, I do like it, like, I, I mean, I love it and like it, you know what I mean? But, um, with this trilogy, I... It literally just made me, like, like I said, it literally makes me think and freaking fear, fear for the future because the Hunger Games could actually freaking happen. You know what I mean? <laughs> like, seriously. Um, but definitely recommend it to everybody in the world that is watching this video. Um, but yeah. Um, speaking of thinking, I read this next book in 2017 because of the Netflix show. That was coming out, and I was not picking my nose. I was thinking at the same time. Um, I literally hate to come up with or speak of suicide, but it's sad and unfortunate. And actually, I know two people in my family who have killed themselves, unfortunately. And this actually kind of helped me with many things, even though it's really... The show basically kind of somewhat ruined it, but also the first season was really good and actually, like, true to the book. But the book that I'm talking about is 13 Reasons Why by Jay Asher. Um, it's obviously about suicide and what comes after, maybe. Even though the show really goes into depth of what... The characters go through in the aftermath of somebody killing themselves and the book actually goes within a day not within a few weeks sorry to say <laughs> and actually that now I was watching a video and actually between I was watching a video about it and between the differences it's the book was in tw within 24 hours this the TV show is within the weeks and then the aftermath and whatever. So if you are suicidal and or whatever, please do not read this and or the Perks of Being a Wallflower because obviously trigger warnings, trigger warnings. But you know, if you're not suicidal and or whatever, by all means, please read it. So. There you go. Um, this next book I actually read in 2014 as well, and I literally read it within two weeks because I loved it that much at the time, and I still do. And I, this was actually my first Ramble Roll book, and it usually takes me a month to read a book, but this actually, again, took me two weeks to read, and I'm talking about Eleanor and Park by Ramble Roll. And, yes, I literally just loved and or loved this book. I should actually reread it again. Um, I read reread Fangirl um, two, la, yeah, two years ago, I think. Last year, the year before. Um, but, yeah, I this was literally like my first Rainbow World book. And I keep saying that she has the same birthday as I do. My birthday is February 24th. Her birthday is tw February 24th. And Baz's birthday is February 24th. 
And Baz is a character from Carry On. So you're welcome. <laughs> so, um, I actually recommend her. And I've only read this book and Fangirl and Carry On. But I will definitely have to read the rest of her books. So, yes. Anyway. Um, this next book I actually also read in 2014. And this was my first John Green book. And I... I'm sorry to say, but I did not freaking cry. I don't think I even cried for the movie. I don't think I cried for this book. Maybe I have. Maybe a tear. But when I first saw the movie, I did not cry at all. I'm sorry. <laughs> but after I keep... Like, I've when I watch it, I literally just cry my eyes out of the sad parts. To literally just have a cry. <laughs> but, you know... Uh, um, and the book that I'm talking about is Fault in Our Stars by John Green, obviously. Um, I literally just love this book, and I literally want to meet John and Hank in real life, and literally just love them even more <laughs> than I should. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I literally have read The Fault in Our Stars, Paper Towns, and Turtles All the Way Down, which is his recent book, even though it came out, like, what, two years ago now, I feel like? You know, what? Yeah, that was like two years ago. Oh my god, I read Tur Turtles All the Way Down two years ago. Oh my god. That is so long ago. <laughs> I feel like. But, anyway. um, I read this book, I think, I want to say last year or the year before. I never remember. But, I think I read it, I read it last year. Um, And, one of my friends gave it to me as a birthday slash Christmas gift, and the movie came out, I think, the year before, whenever I read this last year or the year before, and I literally just loved it. I recommend it to everybody. Like, literally, everybody. Anyway, I'm talking about Wonder by R.J. Palacio, and I need you to read this in your lifetime, and or have everybody just read them. Read it, and see the movie obviously, and the books that actually have a TV and or movie adaptions, just read the book first and then see the movie. And, yeah. Anyway, um, this next book I actually read in 2014, and it's a very long book. And I am not really a big fan of historical fiction, but when this came to my, came into my life, I... Literally just wanted to know what what it was about. And obviously Haley and Bookland loves this book. Hashtag not spawn for her. <laughs> but um yeah, I literally just loved not really liked not really loved, but I liked this book. I feel like I should reread it again and then see the movie again because I've seen the movie like multiple times and whatever. So I am talking about the book thief. By Marcus Zuzak. Um, he actually came out with a book, a new book recently. Um, Bridge of Clay. Have not read it yet, but it's definitely on my wish list. And I, for this book, I literally just should reread it again, like all these books. And whatever. But with this book, I... It took me, like, it took me a few months to actually get through because, like, it's, well, the hardcover is a lot longer than the paperback, but, um, I actually got this edition from one of my friends. It's the 10th anniversary edition, and, um, yeah. I literally just love this book. I, she actually read it, too, and she did not like it. She liked the movie better, to be honest. Um, but I literally just want everyone to read it and see if they like it or not. And if not, then, hey, you're just gonna hate. <laughs> You know what I mean? Anyway, um, this last book I'm actually going to be talking about. I was going to hold up the, the UK and the US covers, but I totally forgot about it. And I'm just going to hold up the, the US cover. But I have literally grew up with this book and the series. Um, I'm literally just going to hold up the first book because I don't have the strength to literally just hold up the whole series. Because it's a seven book series and obviously I couldn't really hold also a series of unfortunate events either because that's a 13 book series but the book that I'm currently talking about is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling um 
I literally just grew up with Harry, and like a lot of people, I love this book series so much. That's why I'm literally called the Reading Ravenclaw, even though I'm like a Hufflepuff according to Pottermore. <laughs> but I'm more of a Ravenpuff anyway. Anyway, um, I literally just loved this series so much. I can't get enough of it. I literally just want... If I do have kids one day, I want them to like it too. Le and love it enough that they can literally just share it with me. So, yeah. And, yeah. So, that's all the books that I have for today. And I will see you next week with another new video. Goodbye!